Hey guys, Pete here with GIS Solutions. Today I'm going to show you how to add state-specific highway shields to your ArcGIS Pro map. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so let's get started. So we're going to use this GitHub site to download state-specific highway shields. Now I did a video not too long ago about generic highway road signs they could add to ArcGIS Pro, but this is state-specific highway shields. So a lot of, uh, all the credit goes out to the folks who put this together as it's a, a terrific resource. I also apologize that this is only US specific, not international. Um, if you guys do know of any data source that has international highway shields, please let me know, and I'd love to do a video on that. So you can either download all of the state highway shields by going up here to code, hit the down arrow, and click on download zip. Or if you want to do state specific, you could click on to one of these. I'll do Colorado. When you do, you get a page that looks like this, but you have to come up here to the three dots here, where it says more file actions, and then um, click download. And that should just take a moment. Now if we go to our downloads folder, it'll be zipped. If you right click onto that, click on extract all, and it'll extract it. Some of the states I notice if you do that, it you might have to uh, unzip it further. Some states have just a little bit more data, so just be aware of that. So when we open up our extracted folder, you'll see that we have two types of files, the style file and the true type font file. In addition, you'll also have this PDF document. It's a little bit outdated, um, but it is very useful because it will kind of show you what the symbols look like, uh, the variations of them, um, and how to add them to your, uh, your fonts folder, both for Windows and for ArcGIS. It is going to be referencing like ArcView 3X, which obviously is very, very old, but nonetheless, this still works fine in the current versions of Arc Pro. Okay, so what we'll do is we will copy all of the style files in these true type font files. So I'm just going to select them. I'm not going to select the PDF and the zip file, so I'll just copy that. The first place where we're going to paste them is our in ArcGIS Pro. So under your C, go to Program Files, ArcGIS Pro, Resources, and then Fonts. So up here it looks kind of like this. See Program Files, ArcGIS Pro, Resources, Fonts, and I will simply paste that. You might have this prompt here where it says you need um, permissions to paste and go and say OK or continue rather and I'll paste it there. The next place you need to paste them is, and this might be different for you, so I want, I'm going to my C drive, um, users, my username, and app data. It might not be visible here, so what we need to do is click here up on the top, do a backslash, and type app data, and click enter, and then you'll be able to continue. Now click local, Microsoft, Windows, and fonts. And again, I'll hit paste. And what I'm doing again is just pasting those style files and true type font files. Okay, so we close out of that and we will go and open up ArcGIS Pro. Okay, I'm going to start without a template since this is just a demo. Okay, I will insert a map. And since I'm using Colorado, I will certainly zoom to that area. Okay. 
Maybe we'll zoom over here. Okay. Now I'm going to insert a layout and we will add our map. Okay. So as you can see here, we have uh, Interstate 70 and US Highway 36. So say we want to obviously add those to the map because we don't want to use this base map with this kind of grainy looking highway shield. Still under the insert tab here, I'm going to come over to graphics and text and add a point. Okay. When I do that, this element kind of um, pane opens up here. If not, you could just select that point, right click and go to properties. If for some reason this is not showing up for you. So under element, I'm going to select symbol. Actually, you know what? I'm skipping a step. Let's go up here. So under insert, I apologize here, insert. So after we added our dot, we come up here to styles and import. So we need to import those, um, highway shields here. So I'm just selecting all of the Colorado ones I just added and say OK. All right, now we're ready. So again, if I just click onto that point, right click, properties, we're here. Click on symbol. This middle button here says layers. Click on to that. Under form, click on style. Now here are our new state specific highway shields. So I have a couple variations of this Interstate 70. It could possibly be a business route. Okay. Um, yeah, so let's just say it's uh say it's this guy here. Okay, it looks a little bit cleaner, a little bit crisper. I could obviously change the font size there. Okay. And next, if we want to replace that um, US Highway 36, I could either just copy and paste what I just did and go over here to Symbols, Layer, Style, and scroll down to the US 36. I know there's a couple different variations, but I know there's one that looks just like it. Yep, it's right here. So we got 36. Okay, and again, you can always alter the size. Yeah, or again, you could always just add another point. Go to symbols, layer, form style. And we also have like the state highway symbols here. So it's just a great way to make your your map a little more, um, you know, a little more current, a little more cleaner. Um, you can make your own base map or choose not to use the base map and just use these symbols, uh, you know, whatever you choose. As always, if you guys have any questions about how to um, do any of this, please leave a comment down below. Um, if you're new to, to the channel, uh, welcome. Uh, please subscribe. I try to put out a video once a week. And if you're currently a subscriber, I greatly appreciate your support. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.